Binary Search Binary Search is a fast search algorithm. It works on the principle of divide and conquer. For this algorithm to work properly, the data collection should be in the sorted form. Binary Search looks for a particular item by comparing the middlemost item of the collection. If a match occurs, then the index of item is returned. If the middle item is greater than the item, then the item is searched in the subarray to the left of the middle item. Otherwise, the item is searched for in the subarray to the right of the middle item. This process continues on the subarray as well until the size of the subarray reduces to zero. And that will be illustrated further on the next slides. So how does binary search work? So again, the array elements should be sorted. We have to get the leftmost index, which I'm going to call L, and the rightmost index, which I'm going to call R. So here, I have here some variables. Here's the item that we will be searching for. L is the leftmost index. So in this example, it is zero. That's why L is zero. R is our rightmost index. So in this example, it is actually nine. So we have here L and R, zero and nine. M, we haven't computed for the middle yet. So that will be shown later. And then we have here our flag found. It is actually zero. That means we haven't found the item yet. And N here, uh, N here should be 10, the number of elements. Then the next one is how to get the middle part of the array. So I have here my formula, L plus M divided by two, which is actually an integer division. So zero plus nine for this example, divided by two is equal to four. So that's 4.5, but since this is an integer division, the fraction will be just be truncated. So here we have here our M, so our middle index, our middle index. Then the next thing we're going to do is compare the item with the element at the middle. So if they are equal, then the item is found. So in this case, they are not yet equal. If item is higher than, if item is higher, then the item may be on the right side or upper side of the array. If the item is lower, then the item may be on the left side or the lower side of the array. In the example, item is higher than the middle element. So if you, as you can see here, our item is 20 and our middle element is 15. So since the item is higher than our middle element, then maybe the item can be found on the right side or the upper side of the array. Okay, since in our example, the item is higher than the middle element, the item may be on the right side. So I have said, uh, uh, that's what I've said a while ago. So we now divide the array ignoring the lower part of the array. So changing the leftmost index with this L to M plus one. So originally our L is zero, but now it is equal to M plus one. Our M a while ago is actually four. So M plus one is now five. So that, will, that becomes the value of our L. Then we now compute for our M M now is equal to our new left, which is 5 plus 9, divided by 2, which is equal now to 7. So this becomes our middle element. And this part of the array will now be ignored. So we are now going to deal only with this subarray. Then again, we compare the item with the middle element. So in this case, the item is lower than the middle element. So that means that the item may be found on the lower half of the subarray or this array. Okay, so the upper side of the array will be again be ignored 
so this one will be disabled or will be ignored and the new write index will be equal to m minus 1 so since uh, this was our original middle so r now is equal to 6 and then our new middle is equal to again left plus right so our left is now 5 our right is 6 so 5 plus 6 divided by 2 that is 5 so item is higher than the middle element so this one compared to this the item is higher than the middle element since the item is higher than the middle element then it then maybe the element we're looking for or the item we're looking for is actually in the upper subarray again so the new left index will be equal to m plus one so that becomes six the new middle will be l plus r so that is six plus six divided by two that is also six and item is now equal to the middle element so 20 is equal to 20. so since you're equal one is assigned to our flag here is now our binary search code written in c language so let's take a look at the code so here we declare an array with 10 elements so we have here uh, the elements 5 7 10 13 15 18 etc so again the element should be sorted and we have here integer n is equal to 10 so this uh, refers to the number of elements l is equal to 0 that's the leftmost index so the leftmost index is initially 0 and r is equal to n minus 1 so since we have 10 elements r is equal to 9 then initially m is equal to 0 found is 0 that means we have not found the element yet and assuming that the item we're looking for is 20 now here's our main search algorithm or the code for this binary search so we repeat the process while the item is not yet found that is denoted by this code while not found and the left index is lesser than or equal to the right index so our left index should be lesser or equal to the right index when the left index becomes greater than the right index then it means that the item is not inside the array so that will be our indicator so we keep on searching while not found and our left index is lesser or equal to our right index so what are we going to do repeatedly first is we get the middle index by using the formula l plus r divided by 2 so after getting the middle index we compare the item with the element at the middle index if they are equal so we compare if they are equal then that means the item is found so we switch our flag to one if they are not equal let's say the item is higher than the middle element then that means that the item may be in the upper portion of the array so we change the leftmost index to the index after the middle index so the, this is our middle index then the next index will be m plus one so that becomes our new left index however if it is not higher than the middle element then that means it may be on the lower portion of the array so we change the rightmost index to the index before the middle index so if this is the middle index then we just subtract one that's the index before the middle index so we do this repeatedly until we until these two conditions will not be met that means we already have found or r is greater now than l so after we search we just try to test the value found if it is equal to one then that means we have successfully found the item inside the array so we just print f item whatever the item is is found at position then the position so we print the item and the position the position is actually m if not then 
item D is not found. So we just display the value of the item and we just give a feedback that the search was not successful. So as a conclusion, binary search is actually a fast search algorithm. Whether we are we're using a big array or a small array, it can be a fast search algorithm. Binary search could only be used if the elements of an array is sorted and that's that's uh, one of the disadvantages of binary search and that's all for binary search